if you're gonna talk behind somebody back, make sure it's positive. What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mr. Highlight Films. And it's your lady, Tramika. Yeah, once again, we fresh out the Higher Learning Highlight Book Club. Another amazing, amazing read today. Did you enjoy it? Man, today was a phenomenal. A whole, whole movie vibe. Whole really movie. Good. Very descriptive. Yeah. But, um, we're part of the Higher Learning Highlight Book Club, where we get together every day, Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock noon, and we read, uh, we read some amazing books, and today is no different. Today we are reading The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharp, a great, great author. We just finished reading chapter six, A Flight to Peak Productivity, Virtuosity and Undefeatability. <laughs> but um, this is a great read. Even start out with a quote from Steve Jobs. I want to read that to you before I go into my takeaways. It says, "Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become." Steve mm. Jobs. So that's how I popped off the whole uh, situation we got going on today. Yeah. So um, today was, it wasn't so much of, you know, nugget after nugget after nugget after nugget. Like yesterday, it was just gym, it was just jumping out the gym with all the nuggets. But today was more- Like um, lessons. It was more lessons, it was more descriptive. Mm -hmm. it, it, it turned into more of like, a, it had a, more of a novel feel today. Mm -hmm. um, it, everything that from the, 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 uh, the way, <laughs> the first line said, the entrepreneur was speaking, she said, I'm so tired. The entrepreneur muttered with the energy of an ancient turtle on a vacation day while holding a monstrous cup of coffee. Mm. Can y'all imagine that? An ancient turtle on vacation. Turtles already move slow. And then when you're on vacation, you move real slow. Mm -mm. And then if you got a big old cup of coffee, you're gonna move even slower. You don't wanna spill your coffee. So that means she was tired, tired, y'all. So just over that first, that's the first sentence of the chapter. So just show, show you like, you know, it was very descriptive. Um, I love his attention to detail. Yeah, that quote got me. Like, For the, sure. the, even where, where it says, so don't waste your time living someone else's life. You know, a lot of the times, especially, you know, whenever we start to transition and, and go into, you know, our adult life, um, going to college and, you know, on to what we're looking to do in life, <clears throat> a lot of the times we're listening to, you know, our parents uh, go to college and, you know, be this, be that and we don't necessarily know truly what we want to do or how we want to you know live and design our life and so you know it's just about following your intuition you know that gut feeling that you get we all get that gut feeling and it's been times where my gut feeling was on point about something i'm talking about like i would think something and i would feel it and it would be true you know and to me that's just god speaking to you in a way that if you are not in tune then you may miss certain opportunities and so um when he started off with that quote that quote it really just like it did something it did different it yeah did different. it did uh, that kind of go into my takeaway the entrepreneur she was kind of like it was early in the morning they had just had a conversation with the homeless guy the day before like he was telling him he was going to take him on a trip all his expenses paid it's going to be on a lovely island you're going to swim with dolphins and he looks homeless so it's like 4 45 in the morning they sitting outside the place and they waiting on them to come and it's like doubt started creeping back in it was mm. like uh maybe he ain't as rich as i thought he was maybe he you know maybe he just got a good talk game yeah maybe he just talked to us and, and now we about to get raw early in the morning or something like it was just all it's just and it just goes to show you that sometimes doubt will creep up in the, the wee hours of the day you know sometimes when it's them late nights where you're just sitting there with yourself and you know you don't have no motivational talk on and just there with your thoughts mm. it's like some, all of a sudden now you down which you, you know you're supposed to be doing it you got your mission you got your plan you're ready to go but then all of a sudden you go back to that lower self and you start thinking about okay well maybe i maybe i should just go back to work maybe mm. i don't need to go start this business and you know i got kids that's depending on me maybe i just need to go get a nine to five we gotta I mean, talk nice to ourselves ooh. okay like talk if nice. you ain't talking nice to yourself then who talking nice to you yeah so yeah. not that saying all that then them lights, them, them lights pull on up, them halogen lights, you know, them ones that look real good on the yeah. big rolls, you know what I'm saying? And um, she said, okay, maybe instinct really is much smarter than reason. Mm. So, ain't no maybe. It's instinct is smarter than reason. Cause like you said, that woman intuition, when you feel something in your gut, that's pretty much, we we want to put reason behind it. Well, maybe it ain't, you know, cause you know, this and that, and we put all the different reasons we gotta have a, uh, mathematical formula of why this doing what it's doing. When all, all actuality, all you just need to have that hunch feeling that your 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 uh, 
infinite intelligence speaking to you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta shut up and listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that part. So yeah, that was pretty much the part that really resonated with me today. I mean, it was a great, great read. How about you? Yeah, um, well, one of the parts other than that quote that actually resonated with me was when he was just talking so highly of the homeless man, which come to find out his name is Mr. Riley. And so, you know, Mr. Riley, uh, one of the things that he liked to do is he liked to place, he's a billionaire. So he liked to place himself in uncomfortable situations, right? And so that allows him to continue to stay humble and he does things to ensure his modesty and humility remains in check. So one of the things that um, he do is he dress down, he dress very down, like he's homeless. Uh, he may sleep on the floor to make himself uncomfortable. Uh, what's another thing he said he do? He said he um, fast. He said he fast once a week. And, and that hit me in a different way because never get comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what message I got from that. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter what level you're at, especially, you know, when you're on the high, cause he can be very bougie. He can mm -hmm. be very sophisticated. He bougie. can be, you know, <laughs> like, I, I don't even associate with you kind. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? People. Here with but, with people. you know, he is one of the things that the chauffeur was saying was that he's very generous and he's compassionate. He's, he's matter of fact, he said he's the most compassionate person that he know mm. and um he's also he also has incredible willpower along with his iron clay values such as honesty empathy integrity and loyalty and so that right there that's how you like, talk about somebody back <laughs> like if you're gonna talk about if you're gonna talk behind somebody back Make sure it's positive. Make sure it's positive. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you don't want somebody to talk good mm -hmm. behind your back. And if you are not talking, <laughs> if you are not uh, talking positive behind somebody's back and always gossiping and, mm -hmm. you know, um, just always, always breaking that tea. energy. Yeah, you always got the tea. Like, imagine what they're saying about you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just, you know, environments that you place yourself. Uh, it's the people that you hang around. You know what I mean? It ain't always about having the tea. But because what is that doing for us? You know, it, it, is it enhancing our value or is it degrading our value? You know what I'm saying? So um, that was like one of the biggest things that I got. And I'm humble super yourself. excited. Humble yourself. humble yourself. Humble yourself. So this was a great chapter. If you are not a part of the book club, I don't know what you're waiting for. You need to come join the book club. This is a time where we truly get to pour into ourselves. Um, we get to, you know, have that time where we're learning and we are, you know, in taking these values so that we can use it in our personal and business life, you know. So um, make sure that you join us at 12 noon every day, Monday through Friday. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. So with that being said, do something today that your future self will thank you for. And please don't forget to put, put some respect, respect on your mind. Hey.